We're going to build a website in five minutes. That's right, five minutes. We're going to get a domain. We're going to get hosting. We're going to create the site, and we're going to make our first post. Hey, my name is Max. I'm with BeachLifeIncome.com, and we help people build simple passive income streams. That's what we do. What is simple passive income streams? Well, basically, the idea of making money while you sleep. And we teach that on our site. Take a look at it. We offer a free tutorial. All you got to do is go to the site that links in below beachlifeincome.com and sign up for our newsletter and we'll send you the link to our free course and you can get started. No credit card necessary, no cash necessary, nothing's necessary other than to sign up. Now, what are we doing today? Where well, we're going to build a website. A lot of people are intimidated by building a website and I tell them, look, if you can create an email and send it, then you can create a website today. And in our course, we talk a lot about why you need your own website when building affiliate marketing income or building a, a web store or building whatever it is that you want to do online. You don't want to use someone else's platform. So we teach people to build their own website as well. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, in the description, I have a link that is to the web hosting company that I use. And if you click on that link, bring it up in another browser or another tab in your browser you'll be able to go side by side and watch me go through all the steps and you can always stop the video and take a look and say hey okay let me make sure i'm on the right page here and putting in the right information and if you follow those steps believe it or not within minutes you're going to have your own website up and running that's what we're going to do today now, I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm going to go very, very slow, and yet we're still going to go within minutes. And I'm going slow so you can follow along. So once again, hit the link below, bring it up in another browser, or bring it up in another tab, and go step by step. And I'll see you at the end. Also, if you like this video or any of our videos, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any of our money-making opportunities and helpful advice on how to make more money and simple passive income. Also, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. We'll be glad to help you out. So after clicking the link, you'll be presented with this page. And you want to click get started. And then on this page, you have various plans. I'm just going to recommend that you take the basic plan, which is the least expensive, and it'll be the best for you to get started with. So click that plan. So click the basic plan. And now you're presented with the screen where you need to create a domain. Now, a domain is the name of your website, like Amazon.com or eBay.com. So when you put in something, it'll search to see if it's available. So I already know that this particular one that I'm about to put in is available already. So I should have no problem. So I'll click the button. And sure enough, it's available, zanyquiz.com. So I'll select that one. It's going to be easy enough to get. And now you just need to put in some account information. I'm blurring it out for privacy. And then the next part is to actually select the plan. So you can do 12 months, 24, or 36. I'm going to do the 12 month, even though it's a little bit more expensive. And then you're going to be presented with package extras. Now the package extras, you can examine those later on. I, I would recommend unchecking them. And then if you want that information or that type of service later on, then you can go back and order that. But for right now, I'm going to uncheck those. And then put in your credit card information and complete the page. And you'll be presented with success. Now it's time to create your actual account, which is basically your Bluehost account. So pick a password that meets their criteria. And 
and create the account. And then it's going to ask you to sign in to your account that you just created. And then you'll be presented within this, these few questions. And you can answer these questions if you want, but I'm recommending that you just select blog and personal and for myself. And then you can click continue. You don't have to do this at this point, but what it does is it automatically installs WordPress, which is ultimately where we're trying to go with this. So it pre presents you with the fact that you've selected a blog and that's all you need for right now. So you can either continue on with their questions, but I would just skip this step. They'll ask you the questions later if you want to answer them again, but it's basically trying to customize uh, what it is that you ultimately want. And now you're presented with various themes for your website that you could select and you could pick one of those, but I'm just gonna keep going, skip this page. And then ultimately it's going to install WordPress for your site and that is where we're trying to get to and then you're presented with this account information and how many sites you have and as you can see I click on my sites and I have one the one I just bought and I can either log into it or manage that site and so now I'm in that site and there's some things that they present to you that you can buy as extras on the package I'm just going to ignore those for right now and we're going to go back up to the top and I'm going to log into WordPress, which is basically your website. That's ultimately what we're trying to get to. And here we are, we're inside of WordPress. So now we're inside WordPress. So you see zanyquiz.com, and by the way, if you ever want to get back to the inside or the dashboard of your website, all you have to type in is the name of your domain slash wp-admin slash, and it's going to bring up a password and username, and you place that in and hit enter, and you're good to go. You can also reach it through the Bluehost account that you signed up for as well two different ways, it doesn't really matter. So once you're inside, you have several options. And today all we're trying to do is quickly show a few uh, things that someone can do quickly. So the biggest thing that you're going to do inside of WordPress at the beginning is pick a theme and then create post or a content. And then you might create a page and also some menus And this. It's not that demo that we're going to go through and, and show you all those different functionalities, but those are the main things that you're going to do within WordPress. And what I want to show you is quickly, I want to show you post. So in order to create a post, it's best to create a category. By default, you have an uncategorized uh, category and you can edit that and just call it whatever. So we're going to just call it blog. So that all our posts are gonna go under this blog post and you put a description and so forth, but we're just gonna go through real quick. So my category now is blog. And I could have many categories. If I had a food blog, for instance, I would possibly have, let's say Chinese food or Mexican food as two different categories or uh, sushi as a third category. So now we have I'm not sure if I clicked that and created the update or not. Okay, so now we're going to go and create a post. So add new. And this is the template that we're using right now. This is the way it would look in your post. Now, all the templates are, you can change. You can change templates. I'll show you that in one second. So let's just add a title my first post and then I want to write something 
see how easy it is so this is my first post on my new site now you can get as fancy as you want but I'm just going to click here and you could add a paragraph or WordPress forms or opt-in or it's some image or gallery or heading and all these other possibilities if you click browse all but I'm just going to come in real quick I'm going to add an image and I'm going to look in the media library and I have a picture of me so I'm going to select that and there I am beautiful so now we have a post now you can either publish that post I can preview that post or I can just save it as a draft just like email right I can save it I can preview it or I can publish it and when I publish it I can even say I want to publish it immediately or I can schedule a different time to publish it okay so we're going to just publish it immediately I'm happy with that it's a basic post and now it says it's updating and it's creating that post it's basically a title and I can go view the post so let's go view the post it says my first post and it tells it's me that did it it's my first post on my new site and there it is now since we're within the dashboard and I'm within WordPress I could actually hit edit where I could come up here and edit the post and change things around if we were signed out obviously I would not see this edit button or any of this up here in order to change it so you would see it as a public outfacing of what it should look like and you would never see any of this nor would your customers or your readers ever see this now what does the site actually look like well if we go to uh, the welcome piece here and I want to visit the site so let's see what our site actually looks like straight out of the box so WordPress provided this this theme and we created a, a, a post and so this the top part is the header the first post is on the front page and there's another post that it defaulted hello world which comes with WordPress and you just go delete that if you need to get rid of it so now we have a post and it's under the category of blog now what else can you do quickly well we talked about themes now you can buy themes or you can get free themes it's up to you and I prefer free themes unless I'm doing something really big so if I were going to have a food blog I would go buy a food blog theme and I would go research which themes are being used by the best food blogs out there and there are certain ones there's two or three that are used over and over and over and they're optimized for food blogs and the same is with makeup if you're I have a YouTube channel about personal beauty and so forth there are certain blog templates for WordPress that are optimized for those kind of channels so you might want to just go search but basically within WordPress you have themes now under appearance you'll see themes so I could have clicked here and now if I want to go to Bluehost it also has themes but those are going to be the ones that are uh, have a charge to them so if you want the free ones just come down to appearance and themes so the default one for WordPress is 2020 okay makes sense it's the year 2020 when we made this I like magazines so uh, I've used this many times so this is the way it looks currently in 2020 our current theme let's say I wanted to ch change to magazine theme okay so I can look at it before I actually change it so if I want to just preview what it would look like real quick now remember everything's customizable within WordPress so in this case I have a bunch of stuff I'd probably get rid of here here's the beginning and then my first post and the hello world which came as a, a created post when it was installed so now uh, if I'm happy with that theme and I'm just going to pretend like I'm happy with that theme I would just activate and publish so what's going to happen well it's going to go from the 2020 theme to my new theme which is magazine if I'm not happy with that one I go to pick another one or well, if I want some professional one I go buy one which typically they're 35 to dollars to a hundred dollars for a theme but when you buy a theme sometimes they're so configurable it might take you a while to get 
used to, well, what do I do to make it look like what I ultimately want it to look like? For the purpose of this video, I just want you to see that we can change the theme, okay? There's plenty of uh, YouTube videos. There's plenty of uh, uh, theory. I mean, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there that explain how to change things in WordPress. There's plenty of tutorials uh, online. Uh, you can get all the instruction you want. I have tutorials within my membership site. Uh, so you can search all different ways to find out how to make your WordPress blog look the way you want. Now, what else do we have? Well, we have menus. So at the top of your blog, you might want to have a menu. So I'm going to create what's what I normally call home. That's my first menu. So I'm going to create the menu. It's going to be my primary menu. So now I'm just waiting for it to create that menu. <clears throat> and so what do I want to put on that, that menu is the, the ultimate question, right? So I want to put post, but I don't want to put the post. Actually, I want to put a category of posts. So let's say I want to just put the blog add to, to menu. So it's going to add it to the home menu. And I can have as many menus as I want. So now if I looked at the site, let me just save the menu. Now if I was going to look at the site, you'll see that I have a new menu at the top there it is blog so that's the category blog so you can have multiple menu options all the way across uh, for your blog now you can customize the header which is the top part or the footer you can customize the sides you can customize all kinds of things so if I go to my first post and look at it now in this theme it's going to look different than the theme we had before if I wanted to get rid of this comment section, it's very easy to get rid of it. I just say, don't post, don't show comments. If I wanted to add a menu, I can add another menu within this menu. So it's, it's infinite possibilities within uh, WordPress. And I'm just showing you the, the tip of the iceberg. The other thing is widgets. And I just want to show you one more thing, and that is widgets. Because you're going to use widgets a good bit. If I can just click on it. There we go. Now widgets, depending on the theme, there's certain widgets available. If you don't like these widgets, you can go buy some widgets or download a lot for free, different kinds of widgets. And a widget is just that, it, it does some kind of functionality. So there's different parts of a screen. In this particular magazine, there's a primary main sidebar, and then there's a, a header to the right. And right now there's no widgets in that, and there's no widgets here. But if I wanted to put in something so like a calendar i don't think i've ever done that in this particular theme so let's just see what this looks like calendar theme okay i think we're good there let's go see if that took there it is there's the calendar on the right, basically. Okay, so now, if I wanted to get rid of it, I just go back to my widgets, and I get rid of it, and I put something else in its place. So I hope this is encouraging to you. I know I threw a lot at you, but once again, it's real simple. A WordPress site is so easy to use. You just click, you add a post, you add a page. If you wanted to add a, an about me page, I'll just show that real quick. So there's posts and pages. That's the two main categories of things. So typically in, in a page, you're going to have an about me page. So I'm going to add new page. And a page is not the same as a blog post. A page is pretty, pretty much static. So I'm going to add an about page, about 
you've seen about pages on most websites. This is a site about funny riddles and laughs. I don't know. And then you could add an image or whatever. And then if I want to publish it. So now I have an about me page. Now uh, the question is, is my about me page on the menu? Well, if I look at it now, It's not on the menu, so you think, well, how in the world can I get to the About Me page? So we need to come back to the dashboard, go down to Appearance and Menus. Now remember, we've created that Home menu, and we've had Blog on the menu. Now guess what? You have Pages. So do I want to add the About Me page on the menu? Well, yes, Add to Menu. And then make sure you save the menu because you just added something new to the home menu. Now we're good to go, I think. Still spinning. Let's give it a second. We're going to visit our site. And there it is, About Me page. And now I have the blog and About Me page. So I'm going to click on the About. And this site is about blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now. Once again, it's all customizable. There's all kinds of things you can learn about WordPress. But keep in mind, the main thing that you're trying to do is get content out in front of people. Some people worry too much about how their site is going to look. Is it going to be pretty enough? Don't worry about that. What you should be concerned about most is content. Content is what is found on the Internet through Google or any other search engine. And content is what brings your readers back. So if you're providing good recipes or good advice or how to garden or this, that, and the other, they don't really care how pretty your site is. It's are you providing the content that they ultimately need? So don't get, don't get bogged down in that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Told you we were going to do it in a very short period of time. So here we go. This is what you need to do next. Go to beachlifeincome.com. Sign up for our newsletter. I'm going to send you a link to our affiliate course. You can get started for free. No obligation whatsoever, and you don't have to have a credit card or any kind of payment to get started. The second thing I want you to do is, if you didn't click the link below, click the link below for our web hosting discount, and that way you can get hosting uh, and your domain for a lot less money than you normally would pay. So take a look at that. The other thing is, if you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss one of our videos. Also, hit the notification button. One other thing, if you have any questions or comments, do it below in the comments section. We'll try to get back with you as soon as possible. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.